Today, our entertainment reporter Jim Ferguson is talking about two very different movies. The second best exotic Marigold Hotel coming out this week and Focus that came out last week. And Jim, we are so interested in hearing what you have to say about both. Yeah, both are very good, by the way. Um, are they? Well, first of all, <laughs> the first, the original of the best exotic Marigold Hotel came out in 2011. It was a quirky little British comedy that made it big at the box office and people loved it. But Judith Dench, Maggie Smith, you know, just that great British cast, Tom Wilkinson. Of course, there has to be a sequel. The second most exotic Marigold <laughs> Hotel uh, is being coming out this week. And uh, uh, one of the actresses, uh, you, she's the type of actress when you see her, you know her. Celia Imry is her name. Uh, she's one of the guests at the hotel. And she meets an American that's going to be a guest at the hotel played by Richard Gere. Oh, and still looking handsome, by the way. <laughs> here's Celia <laughs> talking about uh, working with Richard. Um, well, he's got a sort of mystery about him, actually, which is rather marvelous. But, you know, when he came through those double doors, it wasn't difficult to fancy him, you know. And I, I expect I'll speak for the entire female population of the audience. Um, <clears throat> and he has that sort of... Uh, film star era about, uh, uh, um, you know, aura, sorry, aura about him. And because he was a stranger to us all, it was perfect for the story because a new guest coming in is exactly how our reaction would be, I guess. All fighting for attention, you know. Lordy, Lord, have mercy on my everest. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this is the great Guy Chambers, as welcome as he is fragrant. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Good to meet you all. Perhaps tomorrow you will allow me to take you on a tour of our magnificent pink city. But now I shall bring you food guaranteed to tickle even your most talented taste buds. Wow, that was thorough. Find any polyps up there? He's the one. What one? Our evaluator sent to decide if we are to be franchise or footnote. What's your evidence? The nose knows, Mrs. Donnelly. Oh, right. So that's bollocks, then. Well, the young actor uh, who owns the hotel that you saw in that clip, we'll have him on Friday. Dev oh. Pastel will be one of our guests on oh, Friday. Great. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, d mentioned to, I didn't mention to you, you don't know what that story is about, just very quickly. Yeah. Uh, a group of British retirees can't afford to live in London anymore. So they see this great ad for this hotel, about seven of them, they, they go there <laughs> to live. Okay. Uh, but the pictures were beautiful, what they get there, it's a dump. Oh. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's really the story of the Mary, most exotic Marigold Hotel. Um, there was a movie that opened, by the way, fo Focus. A uh, con heist movie, mm -hmm. number one at the box office, way ahead of everything. So very, very successful. And one of the actors, Gerald McRaney, plays Will Smith's father, of all things. And he's, of course, part of the, the con. I don't want to give too much of it away because okay. we haven't seen it. But he's a con man, and he's wonderful. You've seen him in so many movies. Uh, just a, one of my favorite actors. Here's Gerald McRaney. I read that you were drawn to this script to play this character, Owens, because of the dialogue? Yeah, yeah, and uh, several reasons, but the dialogue was probably the biggest one because it's so intelligently written. It's, it's the kind of wit that you used to see in films from the 40s. Uh, uh, that, uh, that, you know, the, the romantic comedies and things like that in the 40s, where there was a lot of overlapping dialogue and things like that, but it was written about intelligent people saying intelligent things. It's interesting you said that because I thought there's a scene where you go into a hotel room and you confront Will uh, and the music and everything. I felt this is like the 40s. You yeah, know? <laughs> yeah. Well, that was the thing. When I read the script, that's what it put me in mind of. Mm -hmm. and uh, And... The humanity of it is sort of like some of the old Capra movies in uh, Did, its own way. I had a feeling you liked walking in Owen's shoes because uh, uh, he's such a hard ass. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like um, a Marine. Uh, say again? <laughs> like a former Marine. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. I, I have a feeling that he might have been. Uh, 
But those characters are just fun to play for any number of reasons, but it, it, it's a great opportunity to step outside yourself and play somebody who's different because I'm not remotely like that guy. But. <laughs> no, I can tell that. Well, Jim also brought along a DVD for you to win How to Train Your Dragon 2. Just visit TucsonMorningBlend.com and click on the contest link to enter.